Hello and welcome to the tutorial on learning numbers. In this tutorial we will learn how to find out the number before and after with four digit numbers. So let's begin with our first example. Let's pick a nice easy one. So let's suppose we've got this number 7000, there's the comma, 264. So that is our number, 7264. And what the question is, what number comes after 7264? Now this is simply just counting forwards. The 7, and we'll write it down here, the 7000 will not change. 264 will just count upwards. It becomes 260. Five. It's the next number, 265. The only digit which has changed is the 5. OK, now we're going to work out the number before. Okay, now how do we do this? Well, we're now counting backwards. The 7000 doesn't change. We've got 264. What comes before that? Well, the 2 and the 6 don't change. What number comes before 4? It is 3. Now, the only digit which has changed is the 3. So that was nice and easy. Now, let's look at a slightly more difficult example. How about this one? We've got 6,479. 6,479. And we want to work out what number comes after that. Now start on the right hand side. We've got a 9. Now the 9 is going to change to 10. If we're counting forwards, it becomes 10. This one here is added on to the next one. So it becomes 6,400 and the 79 changes to 80. Now what has changed? Two digits have changed here. The 79 has changed to 80. OK, now let's look at a, another example. This time we've got 3,820. 3,820. And the question is, what number comes before this? Now again, we're just counting backwards. To make it simple, this is what we do. The last digit here is a zero. So look at the digit next to it. It is 20. What number comes before 20? Well, it is 19. That is our answer. It is 3,819. So the two digits which have changed are the 2 and the 0, and they have changed from 20 to 19. OK, now let's have a look at another example. This time, suppose the number is 9,999. So that's the largest four-digit number. Let's see if you can work this one out. What number comes after this? Now again, all you're doing is counting forwards. Okay. If you can do that, brilliant. If you're struggling with that, this is what we do. Look at the 9 here. We have to count forwards. So the 9 becomes 10. The last digit is a 0. We add the 1 to the 9. So this becomes a 10. We put 1 here. Now we're adding this 1 to this 9 here. So we put a 0, it becomes a 10, and it, we put 1 here. Now we add the 1 to this 9 over here. So this becomes a 10. What's the answer? 10,000. So the answer is 10,000. 
Now you have a go at that as well. It looks very difficult, but it is actually very, very simple. Okay, we're going to look at one more. Suppose this time we've got the number 8,000. And the question is, we want to work out the number before 8,000. What is the number before 8,000? Okay, now again, all we're doing is counting backwards. But if you're having a bit of a problem, this is what we do. Look at the digit on the right, that's a zero. The one next to it, combine it, it's another zero. Look at the one next to it, it's another zero. So this is now becoming quite difficult. So we're going to have to take one away from a number from one to nine. Here it is, this is eight. So we change this to seven, and the number on the right becomes nine. The one on the right becomes nine, and on the one on the right becomes nine because we've had to take it away from the left, <clears throat> from the digit on the left. That was the 8. If you look at this example here, let me just come back to this one. We had 3,820. Because we had 0, and I'll just change colors to highlight this, because we had 0 over here, we had to look at the digit on its left, and that was a 2. So the 2 became 1, that's the one over here, and the one on the right became a 9. It's the same principle over here. So therefore, the number before 8,000 is 7,999. Here, all four digits have changed. So that is how we work out the number before and after with four-digit numbers.